What is up, guys? It's Hi. me again, Safi. I'm Fifi. We're back. We're here to talk about polyamory, or as my boy Kevin likes to call it, Polly and Marie. <laughs> Meaning there are two women that I can now have sex with. Their names are both Polly and Marie. That's not actually what it is though. And we're gonna try and unpack that a little bit for you. The way we're defining polyamory for simplicity's sake is ethical non-monogamy. What is that? Ethical non-monogamy is on the basis of ethics. So honesty and because polyamory is, has to do with romantic partners, safe sex practices, honesty about safe sex practices. If you haven't had safe sex recently, getting tested, all that. A lot of it is about accountability and communication, respecting your partner's boundaries, respecting your partner's partner's boundaries. It's a lot of work. It's called ethical non-monogamy because it's not just about having sex with who you want whenever you want. And there are some red flags to look out for if you're experimenting with polyamory and there are some things you might encounter. Like, yo, if you meet some dude, right? And you ask him, are you non-monogamous? Are you monogamous? And he's like, oh, you know, it's complicated. Homeboy fully has a wife at home that don't know nothing about what he's doing. Six kids, a dog, the whole nine, and nobody knows nothing. That is a red flag. Run the opposite, opposite way. direction. You don't want to be in nothing that's complicated. I get it. Everything's complicated, but you don't want to get involved in that kind of stuff. No, you're just gonna hate yourself after. Right. I promise you. If you're not telling your partners who you're sleeping with, if you're omitting that you're sleeping with other people with someone who you have an undefined relationship with, that is not ethical. Not that monogamy. is not ethical. That is cheating and lying. Please don't claim that title if that's what you're doing. Right, yeah, yeah. If you're doing anything that you're giving someone the impression that is false, it's not ethical. Period. Right? If someone thinks they're primary and they're not, and you tell other other women's or people or folks that they are your primary, that they don't know about the other one, messy. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so primaries. There's different ways of practicing polyamory. We practice it in the hierarchical way. So we are primary partners, which would mean that we are each other's life partner, main slice, main number slide, one, ride or die. Yes, top of the list, right. all the rest of the side holes. Nah, it's not really like that, no. no. So I have a secondary, she's my girlfriend. I've been dating her longer, than, longer than I've been dating Safi, but we both have our individual primary partners. That's one way of practicing it, where you got your main slice and then you got your secondaries who it's really a family. We all hold an importance in Sophia's life. And it's just different, the relationships are different. It's funny to be like, yo, this is like my side pieces and my, but really it's about a community. Yeah. Loving somebody. You can have it that way. And before we started dating, I was a relationship anarchist. I was like, no one is above or below anyone. All the people that I had relationships with at the time were equal to me emotionally, but when I met Safi, that changed. That's insane. That's hierarchical polyamory, and that's what works for us. Just because we practice poly doesn't mean we're exempt from issues that would come up or arise in a monogamous relationship. This is not to downplay or to invalidate monogamy. There's healthy monogamy, there's healthy polyamory, there's unhealthy poly, there's unhealthy monogamy. Relationships just have their issues and we're not exempt from them. Moral of the story is polyamory is what works for us. It's a, a version of an abundance of love. Right. It's a community. The way I like to practice poly, like I love knowing and also loving Sophia's partner it doesn't necessarily mean I also have to be romantic with them, but bonding with someone over loving the same person is a really beautiful experience. Aww. And it's fucking fun. I have yeah. a good time. It's a good time. It's a good time. There's a lot of extracurricular activities that you can partake in if you have an agreement with your partner that 
that's okay. We can enjoy other people separately, other people together. It's a relationship practice, right. a paradigm that is available to you. So if you're feeling othered in your preferences, hear me out in saying it's okay. As long as you're honest, as long as you're loving, as long as you practice safely and honor boundaries, it's okay to explore these relationship paradigms however you want. If you want to learn more, you should subscribe to our channel. Do that shit. Do that shit. Follow us on Instagram. Like it. Like it. Comment. It. Tell Comment. us what you think. Give us feedback. We love feedback. Be nice. Talk to us nice, yo. <laughs> Talk to us nice. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Bye.